Colton McKibbitz, offensive guard, West Virginia. He is going to the 49ers. So some pot potential position flex here as a backup offensive lineman for San Francisco. The production and play was good at West Virginia in terms of the pressures allowed. I see swing tackle potential here. You might want to kick him inside. 33 starts at right tackle, 31 starts at left tackle, and one start at right guard as well. So that versatility does carry some value. Didn't test well athletically. The 3-5-3 is not great. Power gives him issues, and that's a concern given given his arm length. But at six six, bulk him up a little bit, give him some time in, in an NFL weight room. I think that'll that that'll that'll kind of produce a little bit better. He plays really tall, doesn't play with leverage, and guys get under him and he ends up losing that there. The Diners, though, I'll give him credit. They've done a pretty good job of finding surprise value on the offensive line. I was not that high on the Kivitz in terms of where I had him graded. It was oh dear. Uh, 261 overall, so I would have had better guys on the board. But the Niners, they found some value. They might have found a decent pick here in the end, but I, I don't love the pick. They did, by the way, trade Matt Breida for this selection, which I do find interesting, Mitch. I know, I do totally think it's interesting, but what do you think about the pick here at 153? Because I think that one's pretty interesting as well. Well, McKibbitz, I think, was a good selection in the end. I, I, I like that move, but I think Brita was the fascinating part here to trade him away. I like getting a fifth-round pick. I don't love the guy that they got, but the Niners, they didn't need him, Mitch. They, they yeah. didn't need Matt Breida on the roster. I also think that when you look at Kyle Shanahan's running system, he's kind of been able to prove that you can almost insert any running back in there and you can make a lot out of him. Also, I think it's an important thing to note here. Apparently, the Dolphins also tried to trade for Leonard Fournette, but Explored that one fell it, yeah. through. I still think it's interesting. I mean, he's all out there. I would love to see Fournette get dealt. I don't think it happens today, but hey, you settle for Matt Breida, who is a very solid running back, and I think will actually fit here with Miami, who also went out and got Jordan Howard. I think it's going to be a pretty two, pretty interesting one-two punch. Yeah. So 49er fans out there, chatsports.com slash 49ers1. You can get their draft picks this year you can pre-order these jerseys they are under a hundred dollars so if you're a 49ers fan or if you know a Niners fan go to chatsports.com slash 49ers1 we'll get it for you in the comments section below so Tom a lot of jerseys out there remember Brandon Ayuk he's gonna fit well in that offense baby I'll t I mean the 49ers I think have done a great job yes I think they've traded up a few times they also traded back from 13 to 14 but they've lost some pieces in free agency and in trades, but I think they've replaced them very, very nicely. You lose Emmanuel Sanders. They're keeping Brandon some Ayuk. flexibility long-term in the end. So I, I really like them, actually, what the, what the Niners have done in this year's draft. So go to chatsports.com slash 49ers1.